New emails show a top Chris Christie aide had a hand in closing lanes on the George Washington Bridge in September and snarling traffic for daily commuters and even school buses. Welcome to your Wednesday lunch break. I'm Sarah Murray. We're going to go right to Ted Mann, who broke the story about the Christie administration's involvement in this traffic nightmare. Hi, Ted. Are you? So what do these emails show us about who was involved and what the administration actually knew? The biggest new development is an email that shows Bridget Ann Kelly, uh, who is a deputy chief of staff to Chris Christie, emailed uh, an appointee at the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey in August. And she said, basically, let's make some traffic problems in Fort Lee, the city that's on the other side of the bridge. Now let's walk through what those traffic problems were in case we don't remember or weren't yeah. commuting on the bridge in September. Well, so a few weeks after this email gets sent, um, ab abruptly with no warning to local officials, the Port Authority closed off two of the three local traffic lanes that are for dedicated for access for local streets onto the bridge into Manhattan. And the result in Fort Lee was just incredible traffic. They deal with some traffic all the time, but this was a total gridlock. It went on for five mornings. It was finally reversed that following Friday when the New York side of the Port Authority found out this was going on. And the question ever since has been, what was the real purpose here? The Christie administration, the officials at the Port Authority who did this, said they basically were trying to do a traffic study of some sort. No one has ever really bought that on the New York side of the Port Authority. And now it appears that at least a member of the Christie administration fairly close to the governor was after traffic problems, not a study. Right. And, and at the time when you talk about these traffic jams, I mean, you guys have text messages from the mayor basically pleading for help, saying they have busy traffic lanes that are merging into one toll and that the problem is getting kids to school? Absolutely. Uh, school buses were stuck in traffic. This was the first day of school when it began, September 9th. Um, they reported ambulances and, and police having trouble responding to emergency calls and drivers who complained to police that were directing traffic were told, according to another letter sent by the mayor to the Port Authority asking for mercy, these drivers were told, hey, talk to your mayor. And so for that reason, a lot of people quickly assumed there was something political happening here, not just some unorthodox traffic study. And like you said, the administration at this point has said, oh, we were conducting a, a traffic study. Chris mm -hmm. Christie has been pretty flip about this, actually, kind of brushing it off. I imagine that explanation is not really going to fly now. The, the tone has changed remarkably. His first public remarks about this, he made a joke that he was out there himself moving the traffic cones to close off the two lanes. Um, after two of his aides resigned, from the Port Authority, um, Mr. Christie said that he had talked to his entire top staff and they had assured him they weren't involved at all. The documents that were released this morning show that one of the people he was asked about, Bill Stepien, his campaign manager, was on emails and other messages talking to David Wildstein about what they had done. So that explanation appears to need some calibration. And these documents are pretty highly redacted, but mm -hmm. Democrats, like you said, they are investigating this. I imagine there's going to be more to come. This is a very small sample of what the Assembly Transportation Committee has received from the subpoenas they've sent to the people involved. And the redactions make it hard to tell sometimes who's talking, because um, Mr. Wildstein's lawyers you know, got in there and, and blocked out some of the information, but there will be more. Man, talk about vindictive politics. Ted Mann, thanks for being here. Thank you.